Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, November 30th, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through using Cairo Graphics with VisualWorks, or for that matter, Object Studio 8.2. And one of the things that's nice about this is you don't need to worry about getting all the libraries for Cairo itself installed. Those get installed for you as part of the installation process so long as you went ahead and selected Cairo Graphics for your platform. So to get started, let's go ahead here to the Parcel Manager and we'll go down to graphics and we'll just pick Cairo graphics and we'll go ahead and load that. Now again, you had to have loaded this when you ran the installer. So if you didn't do that, go back to the installer and load it. In any case, once that's loaded, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in a little package that I wrote a few minutes ago and walk you through it. Okay, so I've got this Cairo test package. Let me just show you how it's hooked up. We'll go here to our GUI and we'll go into the window spec and we'll hit edit on this. Now, let me pull this over so you can see what I've got. And the thing in here is a view holder, and I've just called it my view. And that's really all I had to do with this. The view holder is this widget. I slammed it in here because I'm going to do all the painting myself. And the way that's hooked up over here on the instance side is I just tell it when I launch this, the my view returns a new instance of my Cairo view. Now, if you were caching this, you might want to create an instance variable and hold it that way, but we're not going to worry about those details right now. We're going to go into the view. And we're going to go to displaying. Now the root of all displaying when you create a view, and this is subclass from visual part, so go ahead and look that up in the hierarchy. So let's go ahead and just look. See, that's where this is coming from. So this is where all basic drawing happens is from display on. And what I tell it to do is draw on the Cairo context of the graphics context. Now, I could have a test here to make sure Cairo is installed. I've omitted that because I'm going to assume that that came in. So we're doing that. Now in the draw method, this is where I go ahead and get an image surface and I tell it to use Cairo format and I get the extent of that area. And then I get the context for that. And then I tell it to draw a background and then I tell it to actually paint on it. And then in the background method over here, this is where I actually grab a gradient and create it, add some colors and give it the specifications for the gradient I'm drawing, take the center over here, and then I go ahead and paint a little gradient in the middle of that graphics area. So I'm putting two things. I'm painting the background of the entire area, and then I'm putting a circle kind of gradient in the middle of it. So let's see how that looks. Let's go ahead over here to Cairo Demo. We'll go to the class side, select the window spec, and we'll hit Open and we get something like this. Not terribly exciting, but you can see that I'm actually drawing with Cairo. I'm getting my background, and I'm getting my gradient here. Looks kind of like a thumbprint in a way. But I can do more interesting things than that, assuming that I have the graphics capability and understand the Cairo package a little bit. But this is, should be enough to get you started, especially if you go ahead and look at some of the screencasts and blog posts that Travis Griggs has put up in the past. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.